All right, y'all. I'm back. YouTube got another PSA thing for y'all. Man, shit done got serious. All I gotta say is, hold on. My bad, y'all. But um. The world is going crazy again, man. Y'all can y'all niggas can say I ain't warn you. I'm just keeping the stack. I told y'all about the food shortage. I done told y'all a possible another lockdown. I done told y'all that they was gonna try to economically castrate us. Shit is coming down to an end. And the crazy part that I will say about my whole journey on this planet is like y'all know that there's like the woke movement right there's really levels to this shit if you've been paying attention or if you paid attention or if you're going through with your damn self there's levels to this shit and you really start from the wake up phase which is you starting to learn that you was lied to majority of the time whether it be by school or your parents. And uh, if you didn't know, couldn't tell by the title of the video, it's gonna get real deep. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take too long. I just want y'all to be aware of what's to come. New York seemed like they already heading for another lockdown. Fucking. And this is what I mean by what I was talking about, like not to veer off, but everything seemed to come back to the bible like regardless of what stage were you whether you woke or whether you conscious or whether some shit went south now it's going straight so you understand life now like shit's just is boiling down to the will be eaten and the won't be eaten and like I already told you about the food shortage. The craziest part is it may not even come in the way that I'm describing. But you going to feel the fact that there's not that much food around. Or you ain't got the ability to fucking get your ass to some food. Like quick. It's almost going to be like the toilet paper situation. Instead, it ain't going to be a bunch of motherfuckers rushing, fighting over some shit. It's going to be a bunch of motherfuckers in the store fighting over the last shit. Or it's going to be a bunch of motherfuckers stealing because they want to raise the price on some shit as if, you know, there's a scarcity going on. And the real crazy shit that they're trying to distract you from is diesel fuel. I know everybody gonna be like, uh, well, it's destroying the earth. Well, what are you talking about, diesel fuel? Da, 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 da. Hear me out. Y'all ever notice how you, you go to the, the gas station, you see a motherfucking tank there filling up all the gas so you can pump your car up? Why is it only one nozzle and one tank? But y'all got three different selections of gas. There's a reason for that. I ain't gonna get into it too much because this video is really gonna be on some deeper shit. Not social. It, it, it get deeper, which means your elevation of frequency gonna have to raise. So, what you'll probably start hearing about and noticing is people Googling the Euphrates River. Look it up. If you don't know what it is, you don't know where it is, it is extremely important, which is why I keep bringing up why a lot of things I'm learning in life and a lot of lessons that come to me circles back, it's more like circumnavigates back to the Bible or Quran, whatever the fuck you want to call it, your holy scriptures. But here's where shit gets interesting. 
there's a passage in the Bible where it talks about it's going to be, I guess you can call them fallen angels, but there are four angels that, um, that are fallen and are trapped here on earth. In the Bible, it also describes them being below the Euphrates River. Now, a year or two ago, there was a video that I had come across where there was a man recording a hole in the ground, like not too far from the Euphrates River. And it says in the title, I'll probably put the links to them down below in the video, but it says in the title, that there is something below the Euphrates River, maybe, uh, I think they call them the lost angels or lost souls below the Euphrates River. All I know is, take a listen to that video. You know, when I get my shit a little more squared away, uh, excuse me, I'll be able to like, you know, pop them in here. But until then, I'm going to have the links down below so y'all can see it. Like I said, Google the Euphrates River and see how how much times that shit's been Googled. And you'll see where I'm coming from when I explain this to you. Now, y'all can go back to whatever y'all think the millennial shit should be. And it's crazy because I'm, I'm even guilty of this my damn self. And that's, you know, thinking that the way the Bible was written, the way that shit you know, is um, designed for us in that book is some sort of, you know, old text that doesn't necessarily, you know, correlate with how we should be living our lives right now, which is straight bullshit, to be real, because the thing is, is the way people operate when it comes to the Bible is they will literally try to make it seem as if it's old, outdated text that doesn't correlate with our social norms as of right now. When the text was meant to prevent society from having unorthodox social norms and to prevent us from idolizing false gods, false prophets, yet all that shit's happening now. The even crazier part is the simple fact that in movies, in t different texts, in different stories, they promote these antichrist demons that are in the book. They're in the fucking Bible, my nigga. I'm going to say one of those names just because it is widely known, widely used, and I'm pretty sure it's been eradicated from this dimension. But it's spelled B-A-A-L. I'm not gonna fucking say the name because I don't, once again, there are certain things in the Bible that, that talks about the realities of this world. And one thing that the world has right but like I will explain to you time and time again on this channel is the gaps in people's learning. That's why there is an unlearn and relearn. But it's really filling the gaps, to be honest. Some of y'all need to unlearn and relearn every fucking thing in your head. But... Like I said, this is about filling the gaps in your learning because a lot of people have some knowledge, but they feel like the little bit of information that they have validates everything else that they have in their head. So really, then whether people validate them directly or what they, what somebody has agreed on something they've said with, they end up validating themselves through the shit that, you know, socially they're uh, speaking on so it's so crazy that the Euphrates River has dried up far enough now to where we can start seeing channels and canals like tunnels damn near and it's like we read about the Bible 
y'all, those of y'all who had to actually dive deep into it to know about the Euphrates River will understand where I'm coming from. Do y'all not know? Go back and read them texts. Do y'all not know those angels in the Euphrates River? One of them is said to be the angel of death. Which is crazy because I think there are three angels. There might be four. I have to go back and clarify. But it's so crazy because one of those angels is the angel of death. And it's set to take out one third of all the population on this earth. Not that one angel, just sit and think of that. The Euphrates River is supposed to dry up. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Two, the angels would be released. The Euphrates is dried up to where you could see a lot of tunnels and shit. The Euphrates is lower than the Sacramento American River right now. Three. One of the angels, the angel of death, is supposed to come to earth, which he's already here, the smoke too much. He's supposed to come out of his tomb or his prison, his cell, whatever, and he's supposed to wipe out a third, one third of all the fucking population on this earth. There's, if there's 7.8 billion people on this earth. Let's put this into perspective for you. That means. Roughly 2.3. I may be a little off. But roughly 2.3. 2.5 billion people on this planet. Will die. Now, I've already warned y'all, but it seems if this is really happening, I've seen several videos and messages speaking on the Messiah being here already, which is fucking weird because you'd think if the Messiah was here, we would hear about it. Shit would be said and whatever else. Although I highly disagree. I do find this statement very interesting. Because then we have to think. Okay. Who are they calling the Messiah? Why are they calling him the Messiah? Did you also know that one of those. Uh, excuse me. The angels, demons. That are trapped here that are set to walk this earth when the Euphrates River dries up is set to be the Antichrist. The Antichrist. So, in gathering up all this information, Mainly just stay prayed the fuck up. Stay on your path. Keep due diligence. Do your fucking part. Live righteously. Stop fucking with them crystals. Stop fucking with them tarot cards. Stop acting like you a witch because in the Bible, all that shit is blasphemy. All that shit is demonic. Astrology. All that shit. I'm telling you, every part of life where it's nigga, I'm I'm becoming better. I'm becoming more conscious. I'm becoming more smarter. I have more information. It all leads back to the Bible. I am not bullshitting you. I'm not bullshitting you. It is what it is. To be honest, and it's like a lot of motherfuckers won't grasp this shit because everybody wants to be 
right in their own mind, in their own world. And the fucked up part is whatever doesn't see, sync with whatever information is in someone else's brain, they will completely dispel every piece of information that you have. Regardless if you're spitting facts. And this is the shit that pisses me off about the world today. Because you'll have a motherfucker in your face spitting facts just because he's homeless and because he may not have the same presentation you have or would like to see. You completely disregard because information. For what? I'm pretty sure if y'all knew y'all parents were deadbeat pieces of shit that didn't know a fucking Bible verse from a biggie rap, y'all would treat y'all parents the same as these niggas that y'all don't want to consume information from a motherfucker who's actually been through it, regardless if he is homeless or looks homeless or not. People know information regardless of whether you understand or not. Motherfuckers have gone through it. People endure in this lifetime. Anybody who's been on this planet longer than you can tell you something about yourself. I'm just keeping it a stack. And I'm not one who ever likes to be like, oh, I I, I ain't gonna let this person say shit about me or to me about anything. Like, can't nobody tell me shit type, type time. But at the end of the day, for what? Ignorance is not bliss when you're smart enough to get it. Ignorance is not bliss at all. There's a certain innocence. I was going to say je ne sais quoi, but no, there's a certain innocence within, you know, uh, being naive, I would say. But ignorant? Nah. We got to stop using words with negative connotation for something positive. That, like, when y'all realize how ass backwards the world is, I'm pretty sure shit would would flow smoother. But, um, that's pretty much my message is y'all better connect back with God. Stop doing these little bullshit ass crystal shits. Stop. Stop with the, just stop with the bullshit, bro. Like, I explained this in my previous video, which, brujaria and brujeria, for y'all who don't fucking get it, brujaria is the act of being a witch, just being a witch. Brujeria is the act of carrying out spells and shit. Brujeria, person who dabbles in spells. Brujaria is just person dap just trying to be a witch get it got it doubt it like i said some gotta feel it to believe it others gonna get it but truth be told stay prayed up please hear me when i say this shit stop stop doing all that shit because nine times out of ten you don't know what you're doing. You don't know who you're going to contact or what you're getting in contact with. Everybody's just, oh, my God, you know, the vibrations and the energy, you know, I just I just need to feel something. Uh. <laughs> but, yeah, for those who didn't know, I did take all my locks out. Over 200 of them things. Pissed me off, tiring as fuck, but I need to see the full length of my real hair. And I'm trying to get it retwisted, you know, get the full length out. Um, but yeah, stay prayed up, y'all. Go find what I was explaining um, about Euphrates River and these angels, and really, really come to realize that <laughs> the Bible has more facts than your history book. I'm just saying. And I'm going to leave y'all with one more piece of information that's 
pretty wild that I just found out recently. And um, it's that what's crazy is these white people, these white people are really lied about their history, about most of the history and about how it should happen. Black people, the, um, what do they call them? The myths or the ancient secrets or the pretty much, you know, the shit that they try to say was lie or fairy tales or shit like that. The shit that's written on cave walls and the pyramids and shit, that shit. Ancient African history, Egyptian history, all history has to do with black and brown people that goes from the Aztecs to the Mayans and whoever else. We all have real stories, real facts that can be traced back to real people and real graves. Crazy part is we were real good about our shit because we know the white folks used to rob graves and fuck the mummies and eat mummies. So yeah. Real recognize real. Y'all stay in the field. Holla at me.